Hi everybody, welcome to River Moon's Gastric Bypass Journey. I forgot to show you guys my what's in my bag uh, video. So I am going to record that for you now. So to start, um, I have my um, binder from the hospital that they told me to bring. Uh, this is everything about my surgery, you know, surgical information. This is another binder all together that I was also told I need to bring along with my educational manual, nutrition before surgery, blah, blah, blah. Just some reading materials said that I might want to, you know, scan through it uh, while I'm in the hospital. I probably will, probably won't, don't know, but they said to bring it, so it's going in the bag. Then something that they found, I found that they said is important. I saw this off of another person's video where she said that while she was in there, um, she brought some makeup wipes to take off all the makeup. Um, she said it wasn't really for makeup, but it was a lot of sticky stuff on her face and stuff like that. I believe her name is Mini Me in Tennessee. I'm giving a shout out to you for that. Um, so I am going to be bringing you um, the Pond's. Um, well, I said bring you. I'm going to be bringing the Pond's um, facial cleansers for the makeup remover. I've used this when I took my makeup off. It's absolutely wonderful. So as you see, it's only $2.79 and I got it from Gabriel Brothers. It was on sale, I believe. Then, of course, I'm bringing some deodorant. Can't be up in there funky. Um, also, everyone tells me that your lips get super, super chapped, super, super dry. So I have the EOS, oh, it's out of focus. Um, the EOS, um, can you see that? The EOS and it is the Sweet Mint. I absolutely love EOS brand um, chapstick. So I decided to get one of these. I also got that from Amazon for just in case, which more than likely the just in case I'm really gonna need it. Now, if I don't want the mint for whatever reason, cause I sometimes get picky, I am bringing a second backup one. Um, this is the uh, Flavor Savers from Avon Strawberry. Um, I love this, this absolutely is it tastes good it feels good on my mouth i love it so i'm bringing this as well so i can switch it out since i'm using a lot of that the first day um also i decided that i am going to bring my earbuds here we go so here's my earbuds i'm bringing that so when i'm watching movies listening to music or anything like that um i'll definitely have it along with the charger for it and here is the base, can't forget that. And the base is universal. Um, not sure if I'm gonna bring my other base that I have because I have my phone to charge. I have my iTouch watch. I, you know what, I might just charge my iTouch watch before I go. Don't know, I'm more than likely I might do that so I don't have to bring this. But if I don't and I forget, I got my iTouch watch cord as well. Now, I also have my hand sanitizer. I have been using hand sanitizer like all day, every day. Even before all this mess happened with the world and what's going on, I've been using a lot of hand sanitizer. So I definitely have to bring one of these. And for the dry hands, and y'all know the struggle is real with that, I bought me one of these Suave Cocoa Shea Nourishing Lotions. It's just a small bottle, as you see, it's the three ounce one, but I'm going to be using this for my hands, um, just because I know sometimes my hands get really dry. I've seen a lot of videos where they say that you're your skin like it's like all the moisture has been sucked out of you and i already struggle with dry skin as it is so i'm just making sure that i'm staying up on it then we have toothpaste now don't get me wrong i know the hospital will give you give me some toothpaste if i didn't have it but i really like the whitening toothpaste so i went and got one of these they were only a dollar at my local dollar tree why not you know then I got some Listerine because um, I'm not trying to have bad breath even though I'm going to be brushing my teeth quite often from my understanding the first day. No water, nothing by mouth. That means my mouth is going to be tart and 
I ain't trying to have it. So I got my little Listerine for that for after I brush my teeth. And also, since I have a tongue ring, I like to soak it at night. Um, that's just me. I've always just done it for the last 20 years of me having it. So I'm just going to be able to soak it um, at night when I'm sleeping so all bacteria and stuff like that could get um, eliminated. That's just me. Then, yes, I have this famous biotin dry mouth moisturizing spray. I have the it in the gentleman. This young, well, this bad member jammer is 1.5 fluid ounces and it cost me almost nine dollars. You heard right, it's such a tiny bottle and it cost me almost nine bucks. But I hear that it's worth it because when your mouth is dry, you could just and you're good to go. So, again, I know I'm going to be using this a lot because I like to drink a lot. I drink about 100 ounces, if not 140 ounces of water a day. And knowing after the surgery, I'm going to be barely able to get sips in, it scares me. So, I'm definitely going to keep this handy to keep my breath fresh, keep my mouth nice and moisturized. Now... Also, I did bring myself some of my tea. I absolutely love Oolong tea. And I know on uh, day two, they start me on my clears, which is tea, coffee, things of that nature. And I'm kind of finicky when it comes to my tea. So I did um, bring one of my Oolong flavor herbal teas. It's non-caffeinated. It absolutely is wonderful. I love Oolong tea. So I'm bringing that. And if... I am allowed to have some shoe lemon then I'm gonna put that in my tea as well if not um, you know it is it is what it is I don't have to use it uh, this is a tongue depressor that I use um, you don't have to bring it with you but I bring it with me I use this on a daily basis for my tongue to make sure my tongue stay fresh um, before I put my tongue ring in from after it sucks in there that's just what I do I love my teeth <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest I uh, love my smile love my teeth so I want to make sure that my mouth stays fresh so I'm bringing this especially after you start drinking the um, the protein shakes you need to you know scrape your tongue off every time anyway just because the bacteria in your mouth changes after you have the surgery so if you don't have one you need to get one I'm telling you um, I also decided to bring my HIPAA cleanse. Now, I believe I showed you guys this inside of my uh, vitamin haul video, but I am going to be bringing my HIPAA cleanse. I am to use this either the night before or the day of before I go into the hospital. Um, you wash up with it, let it sit on your body for five minutes and rinse it off. Um, and but what I'm going to end up doing is uh, taking a shower the night before and then the morning of I'll probably soak in the bath. Uh, that's just me. I love baths. And then on day two, um, when they say I can shower, I'm going to use this again. So, and I also bought some antibacterial body wash. So when this is gone, I will have that. Now, also, I got some gas sets. Now, everybody was talking about the gas X strips. Couldn't find the strips. Couldn't. I looked everywhere. Can't find the strips. And where I did find them, they were like over $10. I'm not spending over $10 on some gas X strips. Just can't do it. I can't. So, I got the gas X extra strength uh, chewable tablets. I believe this is in the citrus flavor. The creamy, yeah, the creamy orange or something like that. Um, so I got this. It comes in a pack of like four or five. So I'm going to bring one of these if they let me have it. Especially on day two. I will eat those. Then we have, let's see here. I'm bringing my perfume, which is Victoria's Secret. So in love. Of course, you don't have to bring perfume or colognes or anything like that. It's just your girl likes to wear her perfume. I love my smell goods. Um, not sure not quite sure which body wash I'm going to take with me well no I'll just use the HIPAA cleanse but I was going to take one of my smell good body washes but then I thought about it if I'm going to be using the HIPAA cleanse and they said I only have to use it on my stomach area 
I am not about to sit here and use that on my stomach area and then turn around and then use another one on my body. I'm just not going to do it. So, your girl is just going to use that. I'm not going to do that. But this it smells so good. It's like a floral, sweet floral scent. It, is, it smells really, really good. Um, so I'm going to be using this when I come home. Now, you know how the struggle is real when it comes towards trying to get you some sleep. They don't let you sleep in a hospital. That's okay, because I got a fix for that. Yes, yes, they can do whatever they need to do, whatever uh, tests they need to do, and they will not be disturbing me because my eyes will stay and remain closed from the light. I wore this already, and it is phenomenal. I love it. So I will be taking that. Now, I also have an issue with dry nails, and they break all the time. I don't care what I do with it, but it always breaks all the time. So, I am bringing this for nail care, just in case I get a hangnail. I could go ahead and just, you know, look that up, fix it. Then we are required to have a mask. So, I'm bringing this. Now, if this is uncomfortable, I do have the blue surgical mask that everybody has. I got a, a, actually two boxes of those. So, I'll probably bring like two of those and then one of these. This is one I'm going to actually wear inside the hospital when I go. And if this one gets on my nerves, I'm going to switch to the other one. Hopefully, this one does not. Now, obviously, this is for my toothbrush. I'm going to put my toothbrush in here on on uh, Monday morning, but this is for my toothbrush to keep my stuff uh, from getting everything else wet. And then I have my little makeup for when I come home. My lip glosses don't know which color I'm going to want to wear. I, put, I like both of those. And then my eyeliner, um, brow liner, uh, my foundation, and my shadows, and... Then I got some little sample lipsticks. I absolutely love these two colors. Don't know which I'm going to wear, so I'm just bringing them. Uh, then I have my little thing here. I love this. Love, 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 love this. It is a mirror. And both sides, one is uh, magnified. Absolutely love this thing. I use it on a daily basis now, so I know I'm going to be needing it then, especially if I am using these because I think something's on my face. I'm going to be all in the mirror, I'm just telling you. Now, as far as, oh, and also, I have those real, really weird eyelashes that grow inside my eyes. They grow in instead of up. So, I am taking this because every other day I have an eyelash stuck in my eye, and I am not trying to be digging all in my eyeball while I'm in the hospital. I'm just not. So, I am bringing this just in case. I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Um, obviously, I am bringing my wallet for my, med uh, my medical card and my ID and stuff like that. Now, this is my pajama pants. As you see, it goes with my mask, but this is my pajama pants. These are a little bit big on me now. Um, absolutely love these. They're so it's going to be nice and loose. I'm not bringing a pajama shirt or anything like that, only because I'm going to be wearing a hospital gown. As well as that is the dress that I'm going to be wearing. This is also big on me. My husband loves that pattern, loves the color on me. So I'm going to wear that coming home. And then going to the hospital, I am going to be wearing an over large t-shirt and some leggings that are a little bit big. Um, I just loose clothes, you know, I'm not trying to be fancy. I already know me when I go when I'm going to be coming home, I'm going to probably be grumpy, probably, and not even care. So, it's a possibility that none of this stuff here, none of this, hopefully I don't need this, but none of this here, I already know, may not even be used. Because depending on how I'm feeling and how much pain I'm in and being that your girl does not wear makeup on a daily anyway, I may say, uh, yeah... I don't know why I packed that. I'm not I'm not putting it on. Just take me home so I can go to bed. So these are just in case. Rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. But just in case. But it is like a 50-50 chance I'm not even going to use it. But that's just me. But everything else I'm going to have with me. 
that's also a 50 50 i might not use it but again they told me i need to go ahead and bring it anyway so that is what i'm gonna do but that concludes my what's in my bag video for me taking to the hospital on sunday there you go so i'd like to thank you again for watching this video supporting ica's uh, river moon's journey gastric bypass if you like videos like this and want to continue to watch my journey then definitely hit that like button hit subscribe and hit that notification button so when you see me do my updated video next week on um how my surgery went my hospital stay and things of that nature and how i'm doing um you'll definitely get that notification but again i like to thank you so much my lovelies for watching this video and you have yourselves a wonderful wonderful weekend